There is a fish. That's a good one too. That's probably the best one I've had in a few days. What's going on fellow bashers? Welcome back to Bash and Bass TV. I'm Justin. And before we get kicked off with today's episode, I gotta give a big shout out to TackleExtreme.com. That's Tackle-Extreme.com. They reached out, gave me a bunch of lures. It's the first company to do that with Bash and Bass TV. So I'm really flattered. And now they've given me a promo code to give you guys. 10% off any order over $35. Just use the promo code BBTV and you get 10% off. So check that website out, utilize that code, get some awesome baits. Anyways, for today's video, it's all about the chatterbait. I don't know what it is, but I think the weather got a little warmer and they were just waking up, getting more active, and they could not stop biting that thing. I had a couple of worm bites, but mostly it was chatterbait. So that made me really happy because that's my favorite bait to throw. So check, these, check this video out, some awesome catches. Make sure to bash the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Bash and Bass TV. And remember, just keep bashing. There's a fish. There we go. Got another little trick worm. Ooh, something got him. Some attacked him. Thank you. Look at that lip stick. Yeah, he's he's definitely feeding off the bottom. So let's get a weight on him. I'm thinking about a pound and a half. That's the first time I've thrown that June bug and caught a color, caught a fish with it. One pound eleven ounces. Nice, one pound, 11 ounce bass. Let's let this guy go back home. There's another one. My first bass on this jackhammer chatterbait. Got him on the jackhammer with the crack across trailer. It's not as big as the last one. It's a little bit fatter, but got another one. Beautiful. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So happy I'm catching fish again. There's one. A watermelon with chartreuse tip worm. Look at that thing. Look how he ate that. That's beautiful. There we go. Pop right out. You guys been eating good. Let's get a weight on him. He's he's over a pound. He's about a pound. I'd say about pound four ounces, pound two ounces. One pound, two ounces. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice little one pound, two ounce bass. Somebody got his tail here. We're just gonna let you go, buddy. There's one. Hooked him right on top of the mouth too. I don't know if you can see that in there, but I got him right on top. He wasn't going anywhere. Easy pop out. He'll go up just fine. All right, let's get a weight on this one. I'm thinking it's at least a pound and a half. One 
one pound seven ounces so almost one and a half almost exactly oh the sun's coming out now look at that beautiful fish biting the old chatterbait just gonna hold him here until he goes and there he goes There's another one. This one's longer than the other one. How the hell did I get him on the bottom jaw? He's longer but skinnier. So he's about a pound and a quarter, I'd say. So another bass within like three casts. Not bad, not bad at all. So we know where they're stacked up now and they're wanting the chatterbait. There's one. Come on out. There we go. I messed up his eye. There's another one. Another about a pound and a quarter. So between pound and quarter, pound and a half. This one's got weird gray color to him. He's not really that vibrant. Doesn't have the lateral line showing as much right now. Let's get him back in the water. <sighs> that water is not the warmest. There's one. Let's go. That's four. Got this one right below the eye. But it didn't kill his eye at least. It came right out of the eye socket here. So yeah, his eye's fine. He's the smallest one of the day. He's about a pound. I'll just put a new trailer on in a minute and keep biting the damn thing. There's one. He's fighting and he's trying to go down. This is the biggest one of the day. Came out of his cheek. Easy pop out. Yeah, this is this is probably this is probably a pound ten, pound nine. Let's get a weight on this one. It's definitely more than one seven. Gotta be. I was wrong. One seven. Same size as the other one. So another one pound seven ounce bass. Come on, let's go. There's one. I said I wanted one more. It hasn't even come up yet. There it is. It just like went dead weight. Are you alive? This might be the heaviest one. This is definitely the heaviest one. Decided I'm going to go dead weight on you. One pound, nine ounces. So. One nine. You are officially the heaviest one so far. You gonna kick off? Yep, there he goes. There's a fish. That's a good one too. That's probably the best one I've had in a few days. There we go, that's over two pounds. Don't go in the water. Look at that. He's covered in mud. Right on top of the mouth, that's where you want it. He ain't coming off of that unless I pull him off. Actually, I might need to get pliers for him. Oh yeah, I definitely gotta get pliers for, for him. There we go. 
There we go. This one's over. This one's over two pounds. You rinse this. Yeah. Over two pounds easily. Let's get a weight on this girl. Two pounds, five ounces. All right, so beautiful two pound, five ounce bass. This is the biggest one I've caught in a while. So I was just dragging the chatterbait along the bank, popping it, twitching it, pausing, let it fall for a second. And this guy just came up and just chomped it on the fall. She's so fat. There we go. That's a lazy fish. Didn't even kick off or anything, just kind of slowly went back in. That's what you gotta do with these ch chatterbaits sometimes. I mean, you could do the general retrieve, but stopping and pausing and popping, sometimes that helps.